We are operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. statement at least that these technical problems are not insurmountable. We are operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. So this is a review of round one decks. Now, I'm going to wait for Brett to confirm he can see it. I can see it, yeah. All right, cool. So I've actually read these this week. Just before <sighs> we go on to this, uh, it just, it just reminded me, we, I did actually get a transcript from Not Tonight about their game of Ultimo. Oh. Uh, and Ultimo might know why, uh, because it's a transcript of not tonight, essentially pulling off the uh, Dark Discovery combo. Oh, God. And literal out of something. The deep dive trigger, they missed the deep dive trigger, so it got, ridicul got, it got ridiculously lucky and managed to pull off yeah, forging their blue key off Dark Discovery. Is that the final key or? Uh, I don't know if it's the final key, but I got sent the transcript over uh, when I, uh, well, I, came, I was out, I came back and I had loads of messages from Nelson and I was like, oh no, what have I missed? It's just them showing off that they got a dark discovery key and, and while well, Ultimo was here. <laughs> Unlucky, man. Unlucky. Um, so, if that's a four Infernus deck and a well, dark can't. discovery deck... Well, it can't be. Put, There's no diss in... Um, in Dark Tidings. No, no, no. It depends. It depends on if it's up there. But if it's up there, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna watch them week three. And Chris, remind me what team you're on again. I should know the answer to this, shouldn't I? Is it like cross cross channel uh, something machine? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm <laughs> definitely I'm definitely gonna record that game then. Uh, yay! I can't wait. <laughs> Given how I'm, how bad it went this week, I, I'm not going to say who they're fa who can't touch this are facing. Oh no, it's, can't touch this aren't facing you week three. Damn it, oh. I messed up. They're, they're, they're can't touch this are facing you this week. Yes, we can't record this. You already got plans. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go to the metrics from, uh, yeah, from the top star. The so the average deck. What makes the average deck? What is the average uh, 36 deck? 36 cards, 12 of each house. On a good day. Usually shrink wrapped. That's the average deck. Well, that's the packaging of average deck. But what makes up the average deck? How much I carbon said, is there? Card, 36 <laughs> cards, 12 of each house. Oh, and it's also the the Alcon card plus the Tide card and Dark Tidings, so it's thirty seven to thirty eight cards. Uh, but but what we're seeing from the from the coat decks, and we've got three hundred decks here to review from sixty teams, is thirty eight percent actions, thirteen point seven cards, forty eight point four percent creatures, seventeen point four, four point eight percent upgrades, which is a lot bigger yeah. than I would have expected, though it's not even two. And 8.9% artifacts, which is a little bit lower than I would have expected, but not by a lot. I would expect it closer to 4 and a bit uh, versus 0.8. I think the amount of upgrades 
is going to is going to be majority in the world to collide so how I, I look forward to that breakdown in a couple of weeks yeah I, I, I imagine world to collide is probably going to have the majority of the upgrades and we're going to see a lot of people with the star alliance upgrade bouncing and along those lines because when you go down lower side when you get to the lower side of sas it's more combo and more exploitive base than it is good consistent key forges you can do when you get to the higher end that's definitely true uh, and, and I mean, say, the, the SAS is 68.6 average. Now, everyone's saying, well, you had to SAS cap at 60, 60, 65, 70, 75, and 80, but I wouldn't expect it necessarily to be dead on 70, but I would have expected yeah. it to be a lot closer to 69.5. And maybe it's one of the things we can ask Glitops to see how many people brought decks that were below that were like two caps down if people brought a 64 to the 70 cap yeah that would be very interesting to see uh, I, know, I know Andrew was talking about bringing all like 40s or 50s just to flex on people <laughs> flex and lose I'm assuming he means <laughs> still they contain 12.5 amber picks on average which is fairly high as a comparison coach 7 had an average of 13.1 amber picks um yeah. So it's down from before, but an average size then of 79.4. So people have gone for the high amber, low, low size decks, which is not too surprising. So so looking at the SAS well, metrics... Code, code 7, we had the SAS climb, so that's quite interesting to see that the, that the average is very close when the range is very similar. Yeah, definitely. So let's look at the SAS metrics here. We've got Synergy is up 30% over average. Now that's significant. Uh, and it's not so much it's up 30%, it, it's double, it's, it's added 50% to it. So it's th the average is 30% less. Anti-Synergy, I know he says it's 18.3% difference, but it's not po less than a 1, so I count that yeah, almost it's, as it's just, immaterial. Yeah, it's a tiny amount. Less than half, sorry. I mean, and Amber I'm... Control is, again, it, it's down by 1.2%, which is significant. Um, well, not 1.2%, 1.2%, which is 14%. And, and so up, so up with one more 1.2 but expected amber here this is one of the big changes here i mean we're talking there's three difference here and the reason i say this is a big change is this you can very easily see the benefit to in the correspondence because this is a this is everyone is picking the high amber rolls yeah and 20 and with 21.5 being the average it means that there's going to be at least 150 decks above that yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. On average. But yeah, the is the average. I don't know which sort of average yeah. it is. That's the key thing. Uh, artifact control again. I'm surprised that's not closer to one, given the heart of the forest scare. Um, that wasn't scares, but it's not all. Then creature control efficiency is up significantly. That's not surprising at all. In the same way that amber control is not. So I expect amber's not has gone up. I don't think artifact control is going to be that high because Heart of the Forest is only printed in AOA. So you only need to... There are other scary artifacts out there. Mm -hmm. But if you're only worried about Heart of the Forest, you need to just make sure your AOA deck has got it. The main thing is if anyone's brought one of the legacy Heart of the Forest decks, which perplexes me because they said Heart of the Forest was a mistake and then they let it into the, uh, the legacy list. But also, it's AOA is not always going to play AOA. You've got to remember. Oh, very true. Yeah. So it's the SAS numbers. So I'm going to move on from here. Anything else you want to add here before we move on? Uh, just about the effective power. It's quite oh, nice yeah. to see that that's a, a below average. So people are bringing smaller creatures than the average. Yeah, but the SAS is seven percent higher. So it, it, it's definitely they are carefully tuning their decks. Houses, now this is zero surprise to me whatsoever. Uh, Shadows, Logos, Untamed, three most popular uh, yeah, houses. Yeah, also, I'm a little bit burnt out. I binged all of Squid Game over the last two days. And uh, there's so many nuances in that thing. My, brain, my brain's a little bit burnt out. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, so we're seeing three houses are, 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 are carrying, the, carrying the weight with, with the fourth house not far behind it. This is exactly as I would have guessed the top four houses. Surprised that this is below Untamed. Because they are not in Dark Tidings. 
I, I get that, but it's still, I mean, it's still in, the, in four of the sets, and it's one of the strongest. It's one of the most consistently strong houses, all the way through. But the but the other three own all the sets. Yeah, the other three own all the sets. But if you're bringing a world's Clyde untamed deck, a world's Clyde untamed is not great. World's yeah. Clyde uh, AOA untamed, apart from Heart of the Forest, is not great. Uh, I'm challenge that uh, a little bit. Yeah, Untamed was really powerful in Kota, and it's sort of been on a steady decline since. But um, but also looking at you then looking at Sanctum, Star Alliance, and Brog not Brogna, Saurian, all at roughly the same point, and I believe they've all been the same number of sets now. Uh, Sanctum's been in three, Saurian's been in three, three Star Alliance's been in three. three. Brogna's been in three. Oh, I, I was cut Brogna. Okay, I was putting Brogna in the next one. Uh, and then Mars and Unfathomable, yeah, they're not in enough sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mars will probably be primarily AOA. Uh, I'll be shocked if we get much more than just AOA for that. Oh, so, yeah, that's true. Sanctum has been in four sets, sorry. Okay. Transmutation, AOA, and Kota. It only skipped World Clyde. Okay. Fair enough, yeah. So, so it's going to be interesting. Let's see where we go. Very interesting. It's good to see a, that kind of, almost ten percent with Bromna because Bromna is a very underappreciated house. So this is the, the the thing that you were pointing out here is we are so we would expect the difference here on if everything was being equal to be zero across the board, but we're seeing more shadows, more logos, and a lot more dis disproportionately, whereas Mars, Bromna, Saurian, and to a degree Sanctum is not there. I'm not 100% sure how he's got all these maths here. Because yeah. Star Alliance and uh, Sauron have been the same number of decks. But anyway, oh, I see how, yeah. Um, so, it, it's going to be... We're going to see a lot of Shadows, Logos, and Tame decks, I imagine. A Shadow, Logos, Disc decks, and, and Shadow, yeah. Logos, and Tame decks. Or Shadows and Everything decks. Because of your... 15 houses that you've got in we're saying that at least four of them are going to be shadows or three and a bit of them are going to be shadows so but again it depends on the set depending on uh, uh, imagine but I'm, we, we should see at least well I'm going to, basically I'm going to put it in in the stream games we should see shadow logos and attain the disc at least one of the games we're watching yeah definitely Oh, and thanks, Josie, for the awesome new art. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big thanks to Josie for the new art.